Hey there, guys. Have you ever thought about the fact that when you meet people, sometimes it feels like you're looking at a reflection of yourself? Or have you ever thought about the fact that sometimes you could be talking to your friend or a family member and you're feeling a certain type of way and it's interesting because you can talk to them all day, but they're feeling the same way, like the same energy, be it happy or sad or irritated or whatever. Have you ever found that it seems as if the days that you're feeling like bleh, all of a sudden all the bleh people come up to you? But the days that you're feeling like really happy and just joyful that those people come up to you too, like you just find more people that are joyful. Well, that's because there is something called a mirror effect. Okay. The mirror effect. And I'm sure you've probably heard this. I think like Neville Goddard has talked about this and, you know, other great um, leaders have talked about this mirror effect as well. And so on day four now for our Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days journey, on day four, we're going to talk about the mirror effect. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer, and I am the founder and CEO of not only Heart of Inspiration, but also Lightworker Academy and in source strategic implementation. So I help people prosper in their purpose. That's all I do, right? And and that could mean a myriad of things, you know, it could be healing, teaching, whatnot. But um, biggest thing that I help you do is manifest your best life. So here we are, the mirror effect. Well, what do I mean by that? Literally everything that comes back to you or that you see is a reflection of what happens is happening and living on the inside of you, definitely at the subconscious level. So if your life is not the way that you want it to be, if your life has yet to mirror Remember, if you've been with me for these past few days, I had to just write down some visualizations. And if you haven't been with me, then I want you to go to the beginning of this playlist, wherever you're finding it. And I want you to go back to day one because we wrote down some visualizations there. We wrote down some, some things that are in our best life, what it represents, how we're living our best life, everything from our bank account to our vehicles, to our relationships, to our career, to the entrepreneurship, if that's the case everything, literally everything, okay, is represented in this, those visualizations. And then we went through limiting beliefs. And then we talked yesterday or the, the, in day three about the uh, simulation, right? The fact that we're living in a simulation. So now what I want you to understand is not only are you living in a simulation, but you are literally seeing reflected back at you what is going on internally inside of you. So if you don't like what's happening externally, right? One of the hermetic principles is as above, so below, but it's also as within, so without. If you don't like what you're seeing reflect back to you, then we need to change the input that's going into the mirror, right? When you wake up in the morning, those of us who, you know, maybe we wear makeup or whatever, right? When we wake up in the morning, what do we first see when we look in the mirror? Well, most of us see someone, you might have a bonnet on your head or you might have a, a scarf on or your hair just might be tussled and just kind of, right, you got bed head. Those of us that wear makeup, you ain't got no makeup on your face, right? All sorts of different things, right? Face not washed, all sorts of different things. So what you see back at you is that really raw, I just woke up from slumber reflection. That's not necessarily what you would want to put forward to the rest of the world. But that's what's going on right now in this moment. And so what do we do in order to prepare ourselves to face the world. We change, we, we clean up, we brush our teeth, we wash our hair, we blow dry it, we style it, put it up in a bun, whatever it is. But we do things, put some makeup on, a little mascara, right, a little eye, eyeshadow maybe. But we do what we need to do in order to do what? Have a different face, front facing, right? From what we're doing, what we want to show to the world. So we have a different input that we're putting into the mirror. It's a different set of uh, circumstances, a different set of, of, of codes that we're putting into the program.
So if you want a different output, you got to put in a different input. If you want the world around you to mirror differently, to look differently, reflect back at you, your best life, then you've got to be living the best life internally first. The reason why you're not attracting people that you that are going to support you in your world is because you have yet to support yourself in your own. Hello. The reason why um, you, you're not like supported with like a group, a community that's going to um, help you through the spiritual journey or, or whatever journey that it might be. The reason why you're not having a, a great partner in your life just quite yet is because you're not the best partner to yourself. And that might be really tough and really hard to hear, but I got to hear it too. I've had to recognize that too over time that my external world was a true reflection of my internal world. So when I was having struggles in my business, not that long ago, when I was having struggles in my business or things pop up, I had to recognize that I myself was not truly living internally, right? What I by my mouth said, I wanted to see externally that I was literally getting back at me. I was getting the result of everything that I was putting out into the world. Now there's a concept that I'm not the very first one to say it, but I would say that I'm one of the first ones to say that our energy, right? Is our emotions is energy that we set into motion. And this falls right in line with the effect, with the mirror effect. Because if I am externally pushing out an energy of chaos and fear and doubt and lack and all these things, because this is what's still rolling around inside of me predominantly, if that's the energy I'm, I'm pushing out and I have this emotion of I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop, I get to a certain place and all of a sudden success just eludes me. I do all of these things. If that's what I continually really truly feel that I'm not sure that I deserve to or can make it, then what do you think is going to happen externally? That's exactly what I'm going to see every time right? If people in the organization aren't quite living up to the expectation, well, perhaps I'm not living up to my own expectation. Perhaps I'm not putting in, you know, I I the work in a way that allows for creativity and allows for efficiency. Maybe I'm chaotic and that's why I'm creating chaos all around me. Now, you know, a, a little chaos is actually kind of good sometimes because it really shakes things up and it creates something brand new. But what I'm telling you is this, if you want to change what you see in the mirror, you got to change what you're putting into the mirror. If you want to change what you see in the mirror, you have to change what you're putting into the mirror. So I want you to really think about that. It's time for a little journaling. It's time for a little self-reflection, no judgment, self-reflection, and really dig down deep and see what you're putting out. Now, don't give up. We just started this journey. I'm going to see you for day five tomorrow. And never forget, never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Okay, we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.